Lifelike I, Deborah, Dre, trading with Dre. That's me and Deborah. Okay, so I teach Deborah, you know, because I trade stocks and I, you know, I'm into the stock market and I teach her, you know, some little stuff. I slowly teach her things and we kind of discuss like what's going up, what's going down, right? So one of my routines for the month is I kind of, actually say every week is decide which sectors of the market is going up and which ones is going down because that's where you kind of want to put the money right we want to put the money what goes up i always say hey what goes up it right come down though. yeah it must come <laughs> down but we we, we, go, we want to go up unless we're shortened but we're not yeah. even talking about that game so we're going to go over some of the most important sectors of the stock market and decide what's going up because if that sector is going up the stocks all the stocks generally in that sector goes up rising tide lifts all boats so we go through the sectors and then we decide which stock that we want to buy in that sector and usually i want to buy a leader why because everybody wants those you know everybody wants the leaders it's those big institutions that have all the money and they want to buy those leaders and that's what goes up it's institutional money that makes stocks rise not our money it doesn't even move a stock <laughs> so let's go ahead and go look at the first sector so this is a weekly chart it's about three years right 20, 2015 16 17 so about three year weekly charts we're going to look at this is the metals and mining sector what do you think this is going to do deborah well i mean it's still at least going up every time yeah but it's kind of sideways in general right yeah. so we don't like it we're moving on metals and mining <laughs> it's, 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 oh, really, it's, it's really that simple. Yeah, so I like this healthcare. This is the healthcare ETF, the XLV. And just look at this. I always tell her to look how it just broke that level of resistance and it is busting through. This is something that you want to keep your eye on at the end of the year. That could later be a, a tea and tea cup. A cup and handle. Actually, it broke the, oh, the cup right and there. handle. It didn't make the handle. Oh, yeah. Right, so it kind of just cupped, but it's broke that resistance and it's heading up. So we like the healthcare going into the end of the year. This is the utilities, the XLU. Mm. It's kind of like a weak version of the. Um, of that. Uh, what that, was I just that. looking at? The healthcare, right? Weak version. It's weak. We don't yeah. want it. Move no, on. It's not healthcare. Healthcare is doing good. I'm sorry, that was utilities, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we don't want it. I, it. It looks, you know, if you look right here, you could see how this is almost an outside bar. You know, where, see that where this bar to the outside is almost covering that bar right here. Mm -hmm. And generally that means it's going to go down. Okay, so I just don't like the way that looks. I like good, strong sectors. Does this look strong? We're looking at the... Um, what is this one? This is the XLF. This is the financial sector it doesn't look strong it's right? going sideways but you know what i like about it and how about if i did this what does that look like and i kind of stretch it out almost like that cup and handle right if you how about if i draw that resistance line see what's happening mm -hmm. it's kind of going above all of that resistance and it's about to break out i actually like financials jp morgan is my favorite so that's what i'm gonna uh because that's a leader you know, like I just said earlier, we want to buy leaders. I like financials for years to come. This is a good base right here. And it's finally breaking. You had some good, a strong rally right here. And look at that consolidation for weeks. And then now it's starting to bust through with higher volume even right there. That's the volume. So let's move on. Let's, we got the home builders sector. That's not doing Yeah, look at that. I mean, this is just, you see that line? It's, it's trending down. I always tell her if it's down, you know, we just move on. See, that's simple. This is the broker deal index. It looks like a dragon. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a breakdown here. See right here you have, look at that full body candle on the downside. Then it's consolidation. You know what I think? Boom, another one of these. Mm. That's just my opinion. Let's move on to the semiconductors. You know, like Intel, Micron, things like that. What do you think? I think it's going to keep going up. The moving averages, this is the, the green one is the 10, the yellow is mm -hmm. the 20, and the red is the 40. They kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just see like a round topping pattern. I'm not really interested in this, probably unless it breaks new highs. 
somewhere, you know, it's got to get above that. And then I'm interested because I have a feeling we're just going to chop, 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 chop. Yeah. You know, is it going to break down? I don't know. I want to show me, show, show the love. And then I'll get on board. So that's me. Let's look at the technology sector. This is what's been holding the market up for forever. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's strong. It's 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 just intact. You know, people are talking about the Fang stocks, and, and you know, stocks coming down. Mm -hmm. You know that I should say that the Fang stocks. Forget all that I just said. That the Fang stocks is most of the stocks is is basically responsible for all the technology rising. But you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. This is the QQQs, the hundred top one hundred Nasdaq stocks. It's intact. It's going on. What do you think? I think it's going. Yeah, it, it's a little slow, but I have a feeling it's going to rip into the end of the year. I'm fine with the uh, the QQQ. Yeah, it's a little. It, it's been acting up for the last month, but it could just be consolidating yeah. before that next leg higher. Anyway, here we go. Let's talk about the oil services. No. Oh yeah, let's move on. Ugly. See <laughs> this? Ugly. That's down. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. Is the insurance ETF. I love this one. Yeah. Look at this. You know, here's that's destroy that line of resistance, breaking out. It, it's going to start a new leg to the upside, and that looks good. It looks real good. Okay. So, which which ones we was liking hard so we far? We like the healthcare. Healthcare. This is the insurance. Yeah. The and insurance. there was one more technology. And then the technology. Okay. So that's 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 what we're going to look at, right? Transportation sectors, all you truckers that follow us, this is your index. Oh, it looks like that's doing good. It looks like it's, yeah, it looks like it's doing good here. Let's yeah, see. see but to... this could be the fake out mm. before the breakout. <laughs> so meaning, see, it, it, it peaked its head, right? And then it kind of dipped down and it, it can't, you know, it, this one, I, I need a little bit more proof because this one can actually continue to go down. Because it went down here last week. It opened up here mm -hmm. and closed here. So mm -hmm. what's going to happen next week? Normally it would start down lower. Yeah, so let's see. Hopefully this thing can consolidation on this, consolidate on this support where this line is and then shoot up. Or it's going to hit, it's going to come back down. So no need to make a decision on this yet. Let's let, let's let the stocks tell us what it's going to do. So if it starts going up, then we get on board. Like if the train's leaving the station, get on all board. <laughs> and if it's and if you missed it and it's going down, see you later. <laughs> there, there's the line. Uh, I gotta see a little bit more on this one. That's that's my opinion. Okay, so this is the real estate sector ETF. Hmm. I just don't like it. I, here's let's draw another line of uh, resistance see show me when you get above that line i might be interested we'll look at that again mm -hmm. right now we're looking at chop or lower okay so and the last one we're gonna look at is the biotech now this one you this one can get ripping but you see all that volatility up down up down i mean what do you think it is going up all moving averages to the upside you know, look at that. It's breaking resistance, but it kind of came yeah, back down. See, this is what down. I was worried about with that transportation. Was mm -hmm. it the transportation sector? I think so. Yeah. Let me go back real quick. There's the transportation. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm worried about that one. I'm worried about is doing that down. See, it's going to kind of hang out here. Let us let this decide what it's going to do. And then yeah. we kind of jump on board. But you know what I see? I see here, down. I see here, down, here. <laughs> down yeah yeah so i'm thinking well these lines are, don't look at my lines <laughs> okay but i'm seeing down 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 and maybe another down but let's see let's see it looks good so far mm -hmm. it's it's if you look at the stochastics it's kind of overboard you know it's heading down so uh, let's let's see so there is this the same length of time as that up there kind of this is the stochastics the it's slow like, stuff. It's a normal. Right. It's just doing what it always mm -hmm. does. This, Getting ready to go up and down like a roller coaster. Right. This is a, another video. She's oh. kind of going into another video. But generally, when it's a below this line here, it's over sold. Right. Oh. And you can see what happened. When it starts to come up, the stocks oh. go up. And here, like if you look back, you see how it went down. down. So kind of it's over, it's overbought here. 
and it looks like it's heading down. Usually, sometimes a lot of people like this because it's like a leading indicator, mm. you know, of what it's. It, it takes data from the past, but it can kind of tell you what it's going to do. So that's what we like. So, what my, what was my favorite again? Healthcare, Healthcare. insurance, and the QQQ. And, and finance. Oh yeah, I like that one. I just this one is not quite developed yet, but I'm, I'm believing it because interest rates are going up and banks make money when interest rates rise. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, yeah. So what we do is we take those sectors that we like, and then we go into the ETF, pick out the top stocks in in those ETFs, and then we buy those and go for the ride. Yeah. So anyway, there it is. That's that's what we do. So this segment, if it's going to be a future segment, do you like it? Yeah. Because yeah. right, next time I want us to talk about those. You want to talk about the stochastics? Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about the stochastics and the on relative the next show. Strength. And the yeah. relative strength on a future, a future show. But this is what I do every week, and I and I slowly teach Deborah mm -hmm. um, little things that I know. So now we're taking this data yeah. and we're teaching it to you. Yeah, and, right. and my oldest son. And, and he, that's right. He started that's right. His stock. first stock pick was <laughs> Ford, Ford and Sony. And Sony. Well, hey, let's look at Ford real quick. It's down. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, though. That he it bought low. Like, bought yeah, low, so high. He did buy low. He bought at, oh, wow. Yeah, he bought at 950 If we go mm -hmm. to a daily chart. Yeah. Mm, let's go to, yeah, here we go. See, it's coming back up. Yeah, he bought right here, right here. So he's up. He is. He's up. Okay, so let's hopefully that's a, a good bottom for Ford. And then he bought Sony, Sony which I think mm -hmm. is, is Sony SNI. No, that's mm -hmm. Sony. Sony's SNY. No, I don't know what Sony is. SNE. I knew I was close. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's Sony. Oh, wow. What happened there? I don't know either. So to be determined. Anyway, this this stock is going up. All moving averages is going up, and we'll see how he does. We'll see and those how were he does. his first two mm -hmm. stocks. Okay, so thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. I'm Dre. This is Deborah. When trading with Dre and Deborah, but Deborah and Dre, like right. like I. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>